Hi everybody, this is Laure from the Zenko development team and today I'd like to run you through a quick tutorial on how to set up a Docker Swarm cluster. So Zenko is a multi-cloud data controller that built upon the success of our first and still available as standalone uh, open source product called uh, Cloud Server. It was formerly known as S3 Server. So on our website, you'll find the links to both projects and what Zenko is is an orchestrator for deploying Docker stacks, which will include more and more features as time goes by and the ecosystem grows. So currently, what we ask you to do on our homepage, if our GitHub page, if you want to deploy a Docker stack with Zenko, a production stack, is to set up a swarm cluster. Now, We've been asked to provide a tutorial on how to set up this cluster, so this is what I'm going to do today with you. Um, Docker Swarm is a technology allowing you to have several uh, servers act together as part of a cluster and thus giving you high availability architectures. So those servers, some of them will be manager nodes and some of them will be worker nodes. What we'll do today is a setup with five servers and um, three of them will be managers and two of them will be workers. The point of having five uh, nodes in your Docker Swarm is that you can lose up to two before you start being into trouble. So you should have the time to react if there is something that's happening that's making you lose service on two nodes. Okay, so this is pretty simple. We're going to go through it pretty quickly. Um, so these are my five VMs. Uh, they all run on... Uh, separate IPs obviously so they all have their own I can show you and whoop. yep there you go so as you can see their inet address is different on all of them and um, this is how uh, we can enable swarm because uh, when you do a Docker Swarm in it, um, sometimes uh, the command, the Docker will not be able to find the right IP to advertise. This is especially true if you are using Wi-Fi because it's not sure whether to advertise your WLAN 0 or your ETH 0. So um, in that case, you will need to use the dash dash advertise ADDR. ADDR. Uh, I'll show you this now on the first node that is going to init the swarm. So I'm going to ungroup and I'm going to initialize my swarm and to avoid any surprises I am going to advertise this address. And now my swarm is initialized. And so this node is a manager as you can see here and what Docker gives you when you initialize a swarm is a token to add servers as workers. So as I said before, we're going to have three managers, two workers. So the two workers are going to be swarm three and swarm four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and simply paste it on those two servers. And you can see this node joined as a worker and I'm do the same thing here. And now I have this three nodes as worker, workers. So um, this two nodes as workers, sorry. So if I want to check that, I can just list my nodes and I can see that currently I'm on Swarm 00. My host is this machine and um, it's the leader. And there, there are no other managers in this swarm as there are no other manager statuses available. So now I want to add managers to my swarm cluster and Docker Swarm in it gave me this command to get the token for managers. So I'm going to use that. And it's telling me that if I want to add a manager, I need to give it this token and this command. So I'm just going to copy paste it below. And now this node is a manager. And I'm going to do the same thing with Swarm02 host. and this node is a manager too. So now I'm going to do, I'm going to list the nodes from all servers and you're going to see that it's only going to work from um, the manager nodes. 
So the Swarm 3 and Swarm 4 hosts are telling me that this node is not a Swarm Manager. It's actually a Swarm Worker, as we can see on all the other ones here, here. So they can't give me the status of the Swarm cluster. This one is the leader, and these two are reachable. So what this means is if Swarm 00 host dies for any reason, Swarm 02 or Swarm 01 are going to take over. There's going to be an election, and one of them is going to be elected as the new leader, and the service is going to remain available. And you can know, of course, where you are by looking at what the, where the little star is. So this machine is Swarm 00, Swarm 01, Swarm 02, in case you can't read the host in the command line. So that's about it. It's very simple, it took us three minutes. And once you have this set up, uh, you can go on and look at our next video, which shows you how to set up a, a Zenko production stack and how to play with it. So thanks very much and uh, check out our next video, the link is below.